As the 18th century progressed, colonists took advantage of technological advances and new equipment to dramatically improve their firefighting capabilities. Still, by the time of the American Revolution, fire remained a serious threat to colonial towns. Years later, in 1836, Henry T. Gratacap designed a helmet similar to the one we use today, referred to as the traditional fire helmet. The design was a reinforced dome-shaped leather helmet with a front shield and brim rolling to a long back tail. As firefighting has evolved, so is the equipment that firefighters wore. New Hamsham hand pumpers is credited with inventing the first fire helmet. The helmet was leather with a high crown and a wide brim. Modern firefighters were protected in the gear, such as a fire helmet, had a water and turnout pump, pants and jackets. Firefighters were turnout pants and jackets made of a two-layer fabric designed to repel heat and wick away any moisture that gets inside. They also wear a self-contained breathing apparatus, gloves, and boots. A typical modern fire apparatus carries equipment for a wide range of firefighting and rescue tasks. These include ladders, pike poles, axes, and cutting equipment, halogen bars, ventilating equipment, floodlights, hose ramps, self-contained breathing apparatus, and general wasn't tools. Until 2003. Many fire Her apparatus are based Holt, on standard truck or lorry models with heavy-duty suspension alternators, first... transmission, and cooling systems.